So here you're really talking about managing versus leading. Tell us more. For example, how does it work? How is the manager, the, the, how are the employees, the, the internal customer of the manager? For example, I, in an opening of a hotel, I opened and taught every Ritz Carlton, the first 50 plus Ritz Carlton's. I spent time with the employees. I made it a habit to meet with each department for a while. And I asked the manager to sit by and not say anything. And I asked the employees, what do you want your department to be six months from now? And believe it or not, everywhere in every culture, every department, from the dishwashers departments to the marketing department, they all said, we want to be the best. I said, oh, what does that mean? Now it was only employees talking. And they said, we want to be efficient. We want to be clean. We want to be respected. We want to be everything, a mission statement for themselves that you would have not dared to give them. And when I was finished with it, and I said, manager, stand up said, here's the manager, he's here, that's his role to help you to accomplish this. That's the leader's role, to help them, without compromising, without compromising. But the manager's leader's role is to help them to accomplish that. And I can assure you, the employees have a higher expectations of themselves than you would have of them. I've seen it around the world in every culture. And how did that pay off? It pays off that they work together, that they respect each other, that they have a great work environment, that they created their own purpose within the department, not only within the company. Now the you know, purpose. Uh, Aristotle wrote about it and said, people, human beings need purpose and belonging. Guess what? In this moment, they established, in fact, their own purpose. They, they felt like a belonging and not just being controlled. They, they knew that there's a leader, not a manager that controls, but that's incidentally the difference between managers and leaders. That's right there. They lead him to something excellent. He helps him to move to something excellent, to define themselves as excellent. It, it's, it's a great, leadership is a great, beautiful thing. How does this help turn around an attrition? in organizations oh, uh, and in industries that have especially high. Dramatically, dramatically. When it, our, we, we in Ritz, Ritz Carlton, we have to understand our industry, the hotel and restaurant industry at the time had over 100% employee turnover annually. All your knowledge that they give them walks out of the door constantly. We, we didn't pay more but our turnover was around 20%. So the knowledge we gave was staying in much more. And, and uh, it, it, it created a, a, an ownership attitude by the employees. That, by the way, is why we were able to empower them with the $2,000, because we knew they felt like they belonged. We, they, when we taught how to do that, we, we knew it was sticking, and, and etc. So it, has, it had trauma, dramatic meanings.